In this video, we are going to talk about dog's nail cutting. Do you know why it's so important to trim your dog's nail? You might notice they get a little longer, but not think anything about it. Actually, if your dog's claws are too long, they can cause serious harm and injury to your canine companion. Here at Only Veterinary Channel, we not only explain you, but show you the importance of keeping your dog's nail at the right length. Welcome to Veterinary Channel. We bring premium quality pet care videos. If you are new to our channel, then don't forget to subscribe our channel. Must like, share and comment. What happens if my dog nails get too long? Long nails can have many negative impacts on your pup's health. So we have two short term effects of long nails and long term effects of long nails. So let's discuss first short term effects of long nails. Each toe is pressed up or twisted to one side causing pain when your dog walks. Long nails can grow into a paw pad causing pain and potential for infection. And now long term effect of long nails, the quick they can grow out making it impossible to get the nails short enough. Chronic long nails can cause arthritis in the feet. Unusual stance as you're walking with long nails can cause numerous joint problems. Your dog's nail clicking on the kitchen floor, that's an excellent indication it's time for a nail cut. Dog's nails should be clipped every 2 to 6 weeks depending on your dog's breed and lifestyle. Here are the tips that will help make the process as easy as possible. Number 1. Start Young Dogs owners aren't the only ones who can be afraid of nail trimming. Dogs that never had the nail clip at a young age or only intermittently may be afraid as well, especially when you throw in a nail grinder that can make a lot of noise. To avoid having an adult dog afraid of having his nail clipped, acclimate your dog at an early age. Start by handling your puppy's feet on a regular basis. Number 2. Choose the right trimming tool Choosing the right dog nail trimming tool is essential to making the entire process smooth and easy. But how do you know whether your pouch needs a scissor or a clipper? Or maybe you need a nail grinder or a doggy version of an emergency board? The first thing to know before choosing a nail trimming tool is that no matter which style you select, it must be the right size. The right size for your dog's nail and the right size for your hand. Choose the wrong size and at best, you might give your dog a lousy manicure. At worst, you can injure your dog's sensitive feet. Number 3. Take your time Getting to a nail trimming session with your dog is not a race. In fact, the faster you go, the more likely you are to make a mistake. Take your time. Multiple small cuts to each nail may be better than trying to get the entire nail all at once and risk cutting too much. If your dog gets antsy, it's okay to stop part way through the process and pick it up at a later time, as cliche as it sounds. Number 4. Have a light source. To minimize the chance of an accidental cut to your dog's quick, you need to steady hand and a lot of light. Being able to see clearly is the best way to avoid accident, especially if your dog's nails are dark and you have to keep an eye open for the white circle that indicates you are approaching the quick. Number 5. Keep a blood clotter at home. Accidents happen to the best of us and even professional dog groomers will leak our dogs quick from time to time. Having a blood clotter on hand such as styptic powder lets you handle the situation quickly. You can also look for a clotter that disinfects and numbs the pain in addition to stopping the bleeding. 